They say you can't judge a book by its cover, but you can judge a man by his shoes. Not a lot of hard rules to men's style, but taking care of your shoes is numero uno. Today, we're going to show you how to take care of these shoes. What's going on guys, right here with the Club Global, teaching men around the world to be men of the world. And today, lesson one, we're gonna learn how to take care of your leather shoes. So, important part of being a man is taking care of your leather, all right? Nice, high quality leather dress shoes are important and they will last you your life and your children's life. You can pass them down uh, as long as you take care of them properly. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, this is not going to be an exhaustive scientific study of how to clean and polish your shoes. Uh, this is just the, the simple maintenance of your leather. All right. Just a simple activity that you're going to do as a man. Okay. First thing, notice I got shoe trees in these. Cedar shoe trees. Always store your shoes in cedar shoe trees. Uh, these will help keep the shape of your shoe. They will also help keep moisture out of your shoe. Very important. So we're going to take these guys out. All right. Now, these particular shoes are pretty dirty. Last time I had them cleaned, I was in the airport and the guy there was pretty heavy on the polish. So they got a lot of gunk and crap on them. The shoelaces are all slick and slimy and gross. So we're going to get pretty thorough with these, but no big deal. So first things first, when you're doing any kind of thorough cleaning of your shoes, take your shoelaces out. All right. You clean the inside, clean the tongue. Can't do that with the shoelaces in there. Now this is not something you got to do every time. All right. This is just something you got to do once in a while. You don't want to do it all the time with the shoelaces because then you'll get the eyelets all stretched out and torn up. You don't want that. All right. First things first, take a sip of bourbon. Take a horsehair brush. You're going to dust off all of the loose dirt and dust that is on your shoes. Just an easy dusting all the way around the shoe. Nothing fancy. Just getting any dry mud or dust or dirt that's on there. Here we go. Now, we're going to clean these pretty thorough. Uh, my favorite guy to use is acetone. Uh, don't be afraid. It's not going to ruin your shoe. You just don't go heavy on it. You're not soaking the damn thing in acetone, all right? But if you've got a lot of polish and stuff built up on there, wax is built up on there over time, you want to clean it all off, get it back to a factory finish so you can kind of start fresh, right? So you can use acetone, mineral spirits, whatever. Just use a clean shop rag and just... Just wipe around the shoe. Get those waxes and gunk and stains and whatever else off of there. The shoe's gonna look all cloudy from putting the acetone on it. Don't worry about it, all right? This is all part of the process. We're gonna fix it all up. Look like brandy new. First thing we're gonna use here is saddle soap. This is just Kiwi saddle soap. It's cheap stuff. Pretty sure you can get this at Walmart or wherever. Um, it's good. Cleans your leather, conditions it a little bit, hydrates it a little bit. Just spray a little bit of water in there. Get a clean area of a microfiber cloth, something that's not too hairy and fuzzy. Get some of that soap on your cloth. And just coat the whole upper of the shoe with it. Be real liberal, all right? You're going to have a little bit of excess in some of the seams and the broguing. This shoe's got some broguing, as you can see. So just don't worry about it. That'll dry, and then you can wipe it out of there with your brush. No big deal. Once you've got the top of your shoe wall soaked up, let it sit and dry for a few minutes. All right? Have a drink. Relax. And this should be a Zen activity, all right? Take a Sunday afternoon, every couple of weeks, once a month, whatever, and uh, 
get down and treat your shoes right. You know, take care of them, they'll take care of you. That's the whole thing with leather. It's a fantastic material that lasts a really long time. You just gotta take care of it. All right, as your soap dries, make sure to wipe off the excess soap. There's gonna be some around the seams and then your shoelaces and whatever else. Just make sure to get all that out of there. All right, once your soap is dried a little bit, give it like, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. Same thing with the brush, just buff it around. This will just kind of work the soap in there a little bit. It'll buff, buff a little shine in your shoes. I mean, if you're just touching up your shoes or you got a pair of boots, something that you're not really trying to shine up or put a whole ton of wax on, soap is honestly good enough. Soap will be fine. It'll get a little shine on it, it'll clean it, give it a little bit of conditioning, you'll be good to go. All right, now, there's more than one way to skin a cat when it comes to cleaning shoes. There's different ways you can do it, different orders people use, different materials and chemicals they like to use. Um, after I do the initial soap cleaning, I like to use leather lotion. It's similar to the soap, but it hydrates a bit more and it conditions a bit more. It keeps your leather a little supple, so I like to use that after I apply soap. You just kind of dab it around the shoe, a couple little globs here and there. Take your microfiber cloth, and same deal. Just work it into the upper of the shoe. Work that lotion into the leather. It'll help open up the pores a little bit, hydrate it, nourish it. It's good. It's good for it. Same deal as with the soap. Let it dry for a couple of minutes, five or ten minutes. The longer the better. You're not going to hurt it. Just let it dry and soak into the leather a little bit. Give it a buff again, and you'll be right as rain. All right, now is where we beautify it. We are going to put on a wax polish. Use a bees wax polish. There are two ways you can do this. You can use a polish that matches the color of your shoe. Certain manufacturers, like this is an Allen Edmonds. Allen Edmonds uh, actually has polishes that exact color match the different finishes of their shoes. Um, another way you can do it is just get a neutral polish. It's colorless. It'll work fine. I happen to have a color that matches this shoe. So that's what I'm going to use. So on this guy, we're going to use a thin cotton chamois. Pull it tight around your fingers. You don't want any loose slack in there. And just get a little bit of that, a little bit of that polish on the chamois, just like that. And then we're going to make little circles all around the upper of the shoe. Just give it a thin, even coat of polish on the top of the shoe. We're going to let it dry. It's going to look all, all caked up and everything. Don't worry. We're going, to, we're going to perform some magic in a second. Let's do a thin coat, whole top of the shoe. And guys, I'm telling you, this stuff is important. Your shoes are one of the first things that somebody notices when they see you. All right, you want to be walking around with beat ass, dirty shoes. No. If you're wearing nice shoes, take care of them, man. Polish them, clean them, get them shiny. Nice pair of shoes says a lot about a man. So once the top of the shoe has a nice even coat of polish all around it, let it sit and dry for a few minutes. All right, same deal. Five, ten minutes, let it chill. Have a drink, have a smoke, just relax. This is your meditation right here. All right, this is your alone time. This is good. All right, once your polish has had a chance to dry, Take your brush and buff it back and forth. You'll see a nice shine start coming right away. See, look at that. Getting pretty already. All right, once you buffed your shoe, you can put an extra coat on the cap, and some do on the heel too. Um, any areas that don't flex, uh, I recommend only doing one thin coat on the parts of the shoe that flex, like on the toe area up here and whatnot, because if you have too much wax on there, it'll, uh, it'll crack when you flex your toes in the shoe. So you want to be careful of that. So same deal as before. Real thin little coat right on the toe here. Little circular motions. It's a nice, even, thin spread of polish. Once it's dry, buff it out again. 
All right, now to get that extra special little bit of shine on the cap of the shoe, we're gonna do one more thin coat of polish on the cap. All right, nice and even, nice and thin. Now once it's dried a little bit, we're gonna take our water and just put a couple little drops just on the toe there. Take a clean part of your chamois, wrap it real tight around your fingers, and we're gonna polish it little firm circular motions. And that little bit of water is gonna make that polish really pop. And man, you can do this two, three, four, five, ten times, whatever. The more you do it, the higher of a shine you will get. You can get that thing looking like a mirror and a military shine on these things. And that's it. Lace your shoes back up, you're good to go. How frequently should you do this? Depends how often you wear your shoes. Um, you got an office job, you're wearing your dress shoes every day of the week. Um, get at least two pairs of shoes. You ever want to wear the shoes two days in a row, so you want to give them a rest day. If you got five pairs of shoes, you can wear a new pair of shoes every day of the week. Awesome. Um, if you're rotating two pairs of shoes, you're probably going to be doing this every week, two weeks, you know, at least. Uh, if you got multiple shoes or you don't wear them too often, you can probably do this like once a month, something like that. You know, take a day, take an afternoon, take all your shoes out, clean them, take care of them. Um, but man, it's important. All right, take care of your leather, it'll take care of you. Um, it's a great material, it'll last you a super long time, as long as you treat it and give it the love it needs. So, till next time, I'm Ray with the Club Global. See ya.